Jenna, no matter what happens tomorrow, the Democratic race has been a remarkable story here in, here in New Hampshire because in the last year, a little known senator from Vermont, well, he's on the verge of an upset in this state that few thought was even possible. Just hours before the voting begins, the one-time Democratic underdog Bernie Sanders remains a heavy favorite, with 61% support to Hillary Clinton's 35%. But despite those numbers, a sizable pool of Democrats have yet to settle, as 36% say they are still undecided. And as UNH pollster Andy Smith points out, much of Sanders' support comes from the younger electorate, many of whom are first-time voters. If those people come out in the kind of numbers that we're seeing in a poll right now, he could win really big uh, because of the weather, because of campaign factors. If the Clinton machine can really pull people out from their side like they did in 2008, it could be a much closer race. If Clinton gets us into single digits, she could claim it's a win like her husband did in 92 and go off to South Carolina. On the other side, with 31 percent support, Donald Trump heads into the primary election, the clear favorite in the Republican field. And that's just about the closest thing you'll find to a sure thing, because from there, Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz, and John Kasich are all within the margin of error. The next tier, equally tight, with Jeb Bush, Carly Fiorina, Chris Christie, and Ben Carson separated by only four points. But with more than half of likely Republican voters still on the fence, there's lots of room for movement. You've got five people that could finish or four people that could finish anywhere between second and, four, uh, second and fifth place. And I don't think anybody could tell you right now which one of those people has the best chance of coming out of there. All right, so after months of polls, it's just about time to turn to the numbers that matter. And with so many people waiting until the last minute, it's fair to say that there could be a surprise or two come election night. Reporting live, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.